We have here the case of United Philippine Lines Inc. versus Ramos, which deals with the importance of furnishing the seafarer the medical evaluation issued by the company designated physician. On March 13, 2013, Liobert signed a 10 month contract as an assistant cook with Holland America Line Westers Inc. or Holland America through its agent, the United Philippine Lines Inc. or UPL. Liobert boarded the MS Zyderdam on March 27, 2013. Liobert claimed that while performing his duties as an assistant cook, he experienced severe pain in his left shoulder, prompting him to notify his superior. He was advised to go to the infirmary where the ship doctor prescribed pain relievers and advised him to rest for a few days. Liobert then requested an offshore consultation but Holland America chose medical repatriation. Liobert was medically repatriated and arrived in the Philippines on April 10, 2013. Liobert reported to UPL for his post-disembarkation medical checkup on April 10, 2013 and was referred to Ship Health Inc. or Ship Health, where he was advised to undergo physical therapy sessions. He was referred to the University Physicians Medical Center Inc. after his condition did not improve and he underwent medical tests. He then returned to Ship Health and was instructed to obtain his medical records from UPL. He was told verbally that he was fit to work but he was unable to obtain any documentation of his medical evaluation from UPL. From September 10, 2013 to October 8, 2013, Liobert sought medical advice from Siemens Hospital where it was recommended recommended that he undergo arthroscopic surgery. He also spoke with Dr. Garcia, an orthopedist who specializes in bone and joint diseases, who determined that Liobert was unfit to work as a seaman due to his shoulder injury. Liobert claimed that he was forced to seek medical help from independent doctors because Ship Health and UPL refused to provide him with his medical records and that he sought medical help from other doctors on his own initiative. On September 11, 2013, Liobert filed a complaint against Holland America and UPL, believing that he was entitled to permanent total disability benefits. According to Holland America and UPL, Liobert was diagnosed with grade 10 ankylosis of the shoulder joint, not permitting arm to be raised above a level, with a shoulder and or irreducible fracture or faulty union collarbone on June 14, 2013. However, Holland America and UPL claimed that Liobert was only entitled to 12,090 US dollars. Holland America and UPL also claimed that because Liobert failed to demonstrate that the company designated physician's assessment was tainted with bias, malice, or bad faith, and he failed to comply with the procedure under Section 20, A3 of the POEA standard employment contract for challenging the company designated physician's assessment, he was only entitled to the benefits resulting from the company designated physician's findings. Was Liobert entitled to permanent total disability benefits? The Supreme Court ruled in the affirmative. The court noted that Holland America and UPL did not deny that Liobert's injuries were work-related, but instead argued that Liobert was only entitled to disability benefits under grade 10 because Liobert failed to initiate the process to have the conflicting assessments of the company designated physician and his own doctor referred to a third doctor, Holland America and UPL argued that the company designated physician's assessment is valid and should be relied on instead of the seafarer's own doctor. While the court recognized the conflict resolution procedure prescribed in Section 20A3 of the POEA Standard Employment Contract, it clarified that a seafarer's failure to follow such procedure is only taken against him if it is first demonstrated that the seafarer was noted of the company designated physician's assessment. According to the court, only after the seafarer has been duly and properly informed of the medical assessment can he decide whether or not he agrees with it. If he does not agree, he can begin the process of referring the assessment to his personal physician, after which the conflicting assessments are referred to a third doctor. The court stressed the ruling in Here versus Anglo Eastern Crew Management Philippines Inc. in that the company designated physician is mandated to issue a medical certificate which should personally be received by the seafarer or, if not practicable, sent to him or her by any other means sanctioned by the present rules. Proper notice is one of the cornerstones of due process, the court said, and the seafarer must be accorded the same, especially so in cases where his or her well-being is at stake. If the seafarer is not notified of the evaluation of the company-designated physician after the lapse of the 120 or 240-day period from the date the seafarer reported to the said physician, the court states that by operating 
declaration of law, the seafarer is deemed entitled to permanent total disability benefits. In the present case, the court determined that Leo Bert was only shown the assessment of his impediment after Holland America and UPL had filed their position paper. Since the final and valid assessment of Leo Bert's condition was not issued within the 120 or 240 day period, the court ruled that Leo Bert was legally entitled to permanent total disability benefits.